Good morning everyone. Today we're going to take a look at two interesting products. The first one is the Gill Mask, advertises a reusable respirator. And the second one is a very interesting gadget. You add water, salt, and it generates sodium hypochlorite, which is better known as bleach, or in the Philippines, Zon Rocks, although there are some slight differences. Now this isn't sponsored, I bought both of these products myself. In fact, this gill mask I've had for over a year, you can see that it has turned a little bit yellow inside. I think that's because I exposed it to UVC light, but the silicone is still in good condition. So what is the purpose of this? Well, you can see obviously silicone, it should create a seal around your nose and your mouth. And then it has a replaceable filter that you actually make at home. So if I remove this, you can see that that is basically part of a surgical mask. And typically I would use a high quality four ply surgical mask. This is made right here in the Philippines. Now I first saw a doctor using one of these here in the Philippines and I thought that's a good idea because at that time it was very hard to get good quality masks. Whereas with this, you can get multiple cuts out of one mask. Another thing is if you wear a typical surgical mask you still have an opening here 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 and here so this is good for protecting people around me if i cough <coughs> then all my droplets or most of them will be absorbed into the mask it won't be breathed in by people around me but this will not filter the air that i'm breathing the idea of this mask is that all of the air will be forced through my filter and that's it of course you have to make sure you're really getting an airtight seal and there is a test for that where you block it, basically check the official documentation. I don't want to tell you how to use it. Read the official documentation. Obviously it has an elastic material that goes around your head and then you pull it tight. Now this is not the original elastic. I replaced the original one. I can wear this for around two hours before it starts to become uncomfortable right here. So it's possible that depending on the shape of your nose, it may be more comfortable or less comfortable. When you wear a regular surgical mask, you can easily breathe because all the air is coming in the side. But when you wear this mask, it will take a lot more effort and you will have to learn to adjust because all of the air is being filtered through this tiny little gap here. So don't expect to wear this when you're cycling or jogging or doing anything athletic. It will take some time for you to adjust to this. And again, this could depend on the quality of your mask. If you put a two ply, you know, paper style mask, it's not gonna do much filtering. It's gonna be very easy to breathe. If I put a four ply in here, then it could be a little bit harder. So you do have to adjust. That's one of the big things with this Gill mask. Now as for cleaning, it's very simple because everything here can survive boiling water. So obviously you're gonna throw away this filter. You might want to wear gloves, probably. This, the silicone and the plastic, they can all be put into boiling water. You can use hot soapy water to wash it. Again, you can check the official documentation for how to properly clean this. I don't recommend using UVC because it does appear to turn yellow. And maybe if you did that enough times, it might actually cause damage to the silicone. Okay, onto the interesting gadget, disinfectant water generator. What they say is you add water, salt, plug it into a USB source for around eight minutes, and then you will have sodium hypochlorite, commonly referred to as bleach. They include this little spoon for measuring the salt, and they have a guideline here in the table, and it says half a spoon for low concentration and one and a half scoop for high concentration. So we're gonna go for the high concentration. So I've measured out 300 ml of water. There's one scoop of salt, and there's half a scoop. And we're actually going to stir that. We'll pour that into the little generator. And we'll plug the USB into a power bank. Now they recommend that you do not put this lid on tightly while it's generating because there'll be a little bit of gas that needs to escape. So let's press the button and you can immediately see a lot of bubbles being generated. It's gone a little bit hazy and we just leave this for around eight minutes. Now once it's finished, if I spray it into a piece of tissue and smell it, there is a definite smell of chlorine or bleach. 
But the question is, how do we know how strong this really is, if it's strong enough to disinfect surfaces? Because I saw a lot of people advertising these, a lot of people saying you should buy this. How do we know that it's really strong enough? Yes, it smells of chlorine or bleach, but what's the concentration? And that's why I actually bought these chlorine test strips so that we can actually test it and see how does it compare against an over-the-counter bleach because I want to make sure does this device really create strong enough chlorine or bleach sodium hypochlorite that we can disinfect surfaces so we'll start with the over-the-counter bleach where the active ingredient is also sodium hypochlorite we'll just give a little spray onto the test paper Okay, so you can see it immediately changed colors. I'll just leave this for maybe 30 seconds and now we'll try a DIY homemade. Oh, that also changed colors very quickly. So we'll leave that for 30 seconds or so. So this is the test strip from the over-the-counter bleach. And if we look at our little charts here, I'd say it's somewhere between 300 and 500. Probably closer to the 300, I guess. That's pretty pretty similar right okay let's check our homemade one and see where that scores I would say our homemade one is closer to the 500 I'm going to store this solution and then make a new one using just half a spoon of salt so again 300 ml of water but only half a scoop of salt And again, we'll come back in around eight minutes when this is finished. So here's our low concentration. Let's spray. Okay, I can see that's already a lighter color. It's more like a yellow compared to a brown. I would say this is pretty much, yeah, somewhere between 100 and 150. So yeah, that's what the low concentration came out to. Definitely nowhere near the higher concentration. So there you go, that's two items that I've been using and I thought I would share with you. Not necessarily recommending them, but just letting you know how my experience is with them. The gill mask I've been using for a very long time. This one I've only really just started testing. It is a very interesting gadget. Just add water and salt and then you effectively have bleach. Just make sure that you have the test strips so that you can check each time, like, did I get the concentration right? Now, of course, if you want to be 100% certain, just buy over-the-counter bleach. They know how to make it properly. They know how to make it the same every single time. So I'm not telling you rush out and buy this, but it's just a very interesting gadget. Thanks for watching.